got it. I think the antlers are going to surprise you. What you're going to have to do if you're a deer farmer to take care of your deer or if you're going to become a deer farmer. All right, so it's getting close to breeding time, and uh, I've got a troublemaker in a pen. It's a three-year-old buck. Uh, you know, he's gonna hurt somebody if we don't get his antlers off. He's hard antlered now, and so I, I gave a tranquilizer. Uh, it went down, everything went well. I mean, I checked the deer out, he's big bodied. He's uh, 31 and a half inches inside. A big deer for a three-year-old, I'm proud of him. I checked his feet and his testicles and the place where the dart hit him. I mean, uh, he, he's good. I gave him some wormer and then waited a little while and I reversed him. He got right up on his feet, uh, shook it off a little bit, and. Uh, and walked off like nothing, I mean, like a champ. So anyway, he's not gonna be able to hurt anybody. We're gonna use him to cover some does. If the AI doesn't work, we use bucks to cover does, and he's certainly a, a good buck with a good pedigree to cover does. But uh, that's what we do, and uh, if we don't cut them off and when they're in the velvet, we cut them off if they need to be cut off hard antlered. So when you have a broken antler, one way to uh, that what we treat it is uh, we use this little spray right here. It's like a, a, a loom. Alumind, okay, it's a little aluminum spray. We spray it on their antlers, it's silver, and uh, it keeps the flies and bugs out. It basically seals it uh, from anything getting in there and causing a problem. So whenever we have an issue with an antler, we cut it off, spray it with this little spray. And what I'm doing, I'm just waiting, make sure I'm waiting for the bag of fluids to go into him, the blood to stop, and then I'm gonna spray the burrs. If you've got questions, we've got answers, head on over to DeerAndWildlifeStories.com and hit the FAQ tab where we've got tons of answers to questions. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, so it's uh, early summer, and uh, it's time the bucks are starting to push. I mean, we've really got some bucks that are coming on now. It's the time that antler infections starts plaguing uh, the, the deer. You know what I mean by that? They'll wind up, uh, their antlers are very soft. They're gorged with blood. We've got a buck in here that we need to take care of. He's got a big, massive drop time that is caused from an injury. So I, what I did is I got all set up uh, back up at the house and then uh, wound up, I've cut some limbs and put some limbs out here. They love limbs. They love uh, golden deer nuggets too, but they love tree limbs. So when he comes up and Hopefully it'll give me a clear shot. I'll put a dart in him and we'll get that drop time cut off. Here it goes. Got him. Got him. That was a nice shot. Dart stuck in him. And good. That worked. Now let's get him on the ground. I'll show you what that drop time looks like. We gotta cut it off. Alright, let me check, make sure he's out, but he looks like he's not cold. Get down here and see what we have here. It's full of blood right here. Let's get the tongue out. We're gonna take it, we're gonna put a band on it right here and then cut it off and treat him. Nice, very, very nice. Look what we just cut off of him right there. A big old drop tine, and that is not genetic. That was an accident. He bumped his antler growing, and uh, take a look at this. With that tourniquet, it really did a good job and wound up, stopped the blood nicely. Look at that, very nice. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this as a, uh, spray on band-aid just like that give him some antibiotics and uh, give him a little bit more time and then we're going to go ahead and reverse him while you have a deer down you want to check out if they have any other issues and lo and behold this guy had a, a hoof issue and so I had the tools in the buggy always be prepared like a good scout and uh, I went up took care of the hoof issue and uh, anyway we got him on his feet, he's looking good, but those are the kind of things that you're gonna have to do if you're a deer farmer to take care of your deer or if you're gonna become a deer farmer. All right, guys, we're going to cut this buck today. We're uh, a little bit worried about him potentially having an antler infection. 
we caught it early. He's, he's got a little nick right here, you can see, and some nick right up under here. And we just decided to go ahead and cut him in that. So we're gonna show you, we're gonna cut him right now. All right, we're gonna we're gonna carterize this around the base of his horn, where his where his uh, velvet was still growing, and his all his uh, his veins. We're gonna stop the blood flow completely. We're using these wet washcloths because this carterizer is super hot. I don't want any kind of heat going to his head. All right guys, we finished up the cutting. We're cooling him down here because it's really hot outside. His temperature got up just a little bit, but we're gonna cool him down. We're gonna get him back to his pen and wake him up. And we're gonna check on him and then we'll check on him again in the morning. Everything should be good. All right folks, he's looking really good. We've checked on him three times today. We checked on him overnight and he is doing a lot better. If you'd like to learn more about MVP Whitetails, our website is mvpwhitetails.com or you can call my personal cell phone number at 214-683-9906. Thanks.